Welcome uh, to this Lightboard session, everyone, where we're going to talk about vSAN. And in, in this session, we're going to look at what a disk group is in vSAN. So, John, I'm going to ask you the question, what is a disk group? So, a disk group is a unit of resources within uh, the VMware vSAN data store. And this can consist of, you know, at a basis, at a bare minimum, two devices, although we tend to recommend more. It's going to have at least one caching device that you see here on the top and then one to seven capacity devices. These capacity devices, the sum of them is our raw capacity of our data store. That cache tier, that's a performance tier. It's gonna be a higher class of SSD. You're going to see it, it handle the right acknowledgement. So from our virtual machine perspective where the VM is acknowledging that IO, um, it, it gets it once it's been mirrored or, or RAID 5 across multiple of these SSDs. Now the capacity, that data is slowly going to bleed out um, if it becomes, if it's older data, it's not overrun quickly, it's going to move from the cache down to the capacity tier. And that capacity tier, these drives, they could be the same class, that same higher performance, or they could be, uh, let's say, nicely cost optimized. They're a bit slower, but it doesn't really matter because they're still going to be fast enough from the read path, which is what's going to happen there. You start with at least one disk group and a host, and you can add up to five. Um, now this is going to depend obviously on how many drive bays you have, but if you think about it, if I've got a, a 1U you know, server that's got eight drive bays, I might have two disk groups. If I've got 24, since there's a total of eight devices per disk group, I might have say three disk groups in that host or more, depending on the amount of performance that I'm trying to add. As you add more of these, you will scale additional performance. Um, in regards to that, you can also add capacity devices after the fact. So just because you only had two capacity devices to start with, you could slam another five into there. We do ask that you do that evenly across the disk groups within a host where possible. Yeah, one of the things I think sometimes we, we get the question of, of uh, when somebody adds another disk group, uh, how is that uh, presented in vSAN? And the, the nice part about vSAN, again, per cluster, it's a single uh, data store. So in that case, you add another disk group, or you add more devices to an existing disk group, it's simply going to increase the capacity and the capabilities of that single uh, uh, data store. Now, in this case, oftentimes, then we get that follow-up question of how many disk groups should we have? And just as John pointed out, uh, we can have a single disk group um, of a you know, single caching device and a single uh, capacity device, but that's not necessarily what we recommend because we were really focused on this idea about we want to uh, provide a mechanism that allows you to have a lot of uh, or a relative amount of uh, performance, but getting the value in capacity from these uh, capacity tier devices that are really value-based uh, and focused on high density and, and uh, storage performance wasn't their necessarily their first objective. Well, the, the thing I like to think about from a scaling is you can scale out by adding hosts and then add appropriate disk groups with that, or you can scale deep and add more capacity and more disk groups, more cache within a host. Um, and one thing you might think about from a design basis is maybe, you know, if you're worried about your storage growth growing f a little bit faster than your compute growth, one thing you can do to help address that is leave some room for more disk groups within your host. Maybe you, you get some two RU boxes that have 24 drive bays, but you only purchase 12 up front. You know, enough to deal with today's capacity growth, but that way you don't necessarily have to go add hosts and the appropriate um, you know, overhead that's tied to that and networking ports and things like that. That said though, if you do need to scale out a lot of throughput, you need to scale out a lot of performance, more hosts are eventually gonna be in your future at some point. Yeah, no, both of those scaling options are a fantastic option for our vSAN customers, and it, it's really representative of, of the flexibility of the architecture. Uh, if you would like to learn more about uh, the disk groups and what the capabilities are, what the recommendations are, uh, feel free to go out to core.vmware.com where you will find all things related uh, to vSAN as well as VMware-related uh, storage. So uh, with that, thank you very much.